वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू टॉपिक दैट इज पॉलिनोमियल इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लासेस वी हैव लर्न अबाउट द एक्सप्रेशन एंड वेरियस ऑपरेशन ऑन देम हेयर वी शैल रिव्यू दिस कंसेप्ट एंड एक्सटेंड देम टू अ पार्टिकुलर टाइप ऑफ एक्सप्रेशन नोन एज पॉलिनोमियल्स बट बिफोर आई डिफाइन पॉलिनोमियल लेट मी डिफाइन few important terms which we are going to use in this chapter most frequently and the very first stage constant and here is the definition of constant a symbol having a fixed numerical value is called a constant for example here i have given it is 9 minus 6 4 by 7 root 2 pi are all constant there are many more examples next important term is variables a symbol which may be assigned different numerical values is known as variables we can consider as the example as we know that circumference of a circle is given by the formula c is equal to 2 pi r where r is the radius of the circle here 2 and pi are the constant while c and r are the variables now we are in position to define algebraic expression it is defined as a combination of constant and variables connected by some or all mathematical operations like plus minus into and division is known as an algebraic expression moving ahead let us consider the terms of an algebraic expression the several parts of an algebraic expression separated by plus or minus mathematical operation are called the terms of the expression for example here i have considered three different type of examples containing different number of terms the first one 5x square minus 9x plus 4 is an algebraic expression containing three terms namely first term is 5x square second term is minus 9x third term is 4 in second example here it is 4x cube plus root 2x square minus 5x by 9 minus 8 it is also an algebraic expression containing how many terms four terms namely the first one is 4x cube second one root 2x square third one minus 5x by 9 and fourth one minus 8 In third example here i have y to the power 6 minus 64 is also an algebraic expression containing two terms namely first one is y raised to the power 6 and second one is minus 64 after discussion of these all now we are in position to define polynomials and here is the definition of polynomial in one variable it is defined as an expression of the form a not plus a one x plus a two x square plus so on till a n x to the power n, where a not a one a two and so on till a n are real numbers. But it is very important to note here here a n should not be equal to zero, and also. n is a non negative integer is called a polynomial in x of degree n now it is very important to identify the polynomials so here is the concept how to identify the polynomial let us consider identification of polynomials for this we have the following examples the first one Root three x square plus x minus five. It is a polynomial in variable x as all the exponent of x are non-negative integers. Observe second example. It is root three x square plus root x minus five x. It is not a polynomial as the exponent of second term that is root x. it can also be given as x to the power 1 by 2 is not a non negative integer in third example here i have 5x cube plus 2x square plus 3x minus 5 by x 
plus 6. It is not a polynomial. As the exponent of the fourth term, observe it here, minus 5 by x, it can also be given as minus 5 x to the power minus 1, is not non-negative integer. So it is not a polynomial. In the definition, I have used the word degree of polynomial. So now, here is the explanation of what we mean by saying degree of a polynomial. Highest index of x in algebraic expression is called degree of the polynomial. In the expression and the definition of polynomial, we have considered the different terms as a0, a1x, a2x square and so on till a n x to the power n. These are called the terms of the polynomial. Whereas a0, a1, a2, so on till a n are called the various coefficients of the polynomial of fx. We generally denote the polynomial as fx or px that x represents the variable. Here are few examples. Let us consider the first one px is equal to 3x to the power 4 minus 5x square plus 2 is a polynomial of degree how much 4 because the highest index of x in this algebraic expression it is 4 in second example it is qx it is equal to 5x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 5 minus 6x to the power 6 minus 5 is a polynomial of degree 6 why it is of degree 6 because the highest power of variable x it is 6 here in this algebraic expression in third example, here I have fx is equal to 2x cube plus 7x minus 5. It is uh, also a polynomial and it is of degree 3 as the highest power of the variable x. Here in this expression, it is 3. Let us consider a few more examples. And here in this set of example, I have the first one as fx is equal to 7x square minus 4x plus 3 is a polynomial in x of degree in next example, gx is equal to root 3x cube plus 5x square minus 3x by 4 minus 9 is a polynomial in x of degree 3. Next example, hx is equal to x to the power 4 minus 2x cube plus 5x plus root 2 is a polynomial in x of degree 4. Moving to the next example, it is py since here the variable is y. 2 into y to the power 5 minus 6y raised to the power 4 plus 8y square minus 5 by 7 is a polynomial in y of degree 5. Last example here I have qz it is equal to z to the power 9 minus 1 is a polynomial in z of degree 9. It is very important to note here that a standard form of a polynomial a polynomial in x or in any other variable expressed either in ascending power of x or in descending power of x is said to be in standard form. So whenever we will write the polynomial, we will write it in the standard form. And what I have explained as the standard form of a polynomial, a polynomial in x if it is having the variable x. Otherwise, the different variable, whatever variable it has. So, I am defining for x. A polynomial in x expressed either in ascending power of x or in descending power of x. It is said to be in standard form. Thank you for today.